Are there some days where you wake up feeling full of energy, ready to take on the world, to take advantage of every single opportunity that comes your way and overcome every challenge as well? If you do, that is amazing. I'm certain though, there are some days where you wake up and feel like your spirit is diminished. A bit of that big happiness is missing and that your energy levels aren't quite where they need to be. And of course, both of those things are completely natural. But here's the great news. By applying the principles from this session, you can take charge of your own emotions. You can raise your energy levels whenever you want to. You can change your emotional states and you can influence the emotional states of others. So let me start by sharing three key things that you need to know about your emotions. The first is that they change all of the time. Our feelings are completely transient. They never stay still. It's a bit like the weather, no matter where you're watching this, all around the world. During the course of this session, the weather will change. Even if it's just slightly tiny fluctuations in temperature, in wind direction, in humidity, it never stays still. And your emotional states are exactly the same. Secondly, there are no good or bad emotional states. There are just feelings that are more or less useful. Even anger isn't a bad state. It's just not very useful much of the time. And thirdly, there are three fundamental ways to change your state and anybody else's. The first is by altering physiology. And by physiology, I mean everything to do with your body, how you're breathing, how you're sitting, how you're kneeling, how you're standing, how you're walking, how you're moving. A shift in anything physiologically has an impact on your mood. Even to the degree that there is some research and some experiments that show that if you stay slouched for any prolonged period, you are temporarily less intelligent. I want you to think about how you would walk into a room if you were full of faith and full of grace and feeling that sense of connection that we all want. You will know people who can reduce the energy in the room just by how they enter it. And equally, you will know people who bring energy to any occasion just by being there. I want you to think about how you would stand, how you would walk, how you would move at your very best. Next up is your focus. What you pay attention to on the inside changes how you feel moment to moment to moment. The key technology behind this, if you like, is that our brains don't differentiate between what's real and what's strongly imagined. If you imagine yourself feeling connected, if you imagine yourself full of faith, if you imagine your vision, then the chemicals get released around your body as if those things are happening for real. This is why visions are so important when you spend time focusing on your vision, when you spend time focusing on all of the ways that you can contribute to the communities in which you operate, then chemicals get released around the body that not just feel good, but they're good for you and they increase the likelihood of you bringing your vision to life. The third part of this state triangle is your language. Your words shape your world. The words and phrases that you use moment to moment change how you feel moment to moment. This is because we have a natural programming to follow commands that we are given. Now we've got some safeguards built in that if somebody is giving you dangerous commands, we won't just automatically go along with them. But our default is to follow commands that we are given. Try this. If I say to you now, whatever you do, do not picture a purple spotted kangaroo, 
for the vast majority of you, what you will do is you will picture a purple spotted kangaroo, even though I told you not to, and then you will get rid of the picture. It is our natural default programming. And I want you to think about the implications of this on the language that you use. Imagine that you've had a bad night's sleep and people ask you how you are. Do you say, oh, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. Or do you say things like, I'm really looking forward to a good night's sleep tonight. Or I could do with just a little bit more energy. I want you to pay attention to the words and phrases that you use and make sure that you use language that serves you rather than language that doesn't. Use language that brings you energy, that gives you faith rather than language that doesn't. This is the state triangle. These three elements allow you to manage how you feel, to influence your emotions, to change the states of others. Emotional state is a reflection of being. You get to choose how you feel at any moment in time. Now, to be clear, this doesn't mean you have to be positive all of the time. That, to me, is not the game. But the question to ask yourself is, do I spend more time in emotional states that serve me, that allow me to contribute, to bring me closer to my vision? And if the answer to that is no, then pay attention to your focus, pay attention to your physiology, change your language and bring yourself closer to states that are going to help you to achieve your potential.